guys, welcome to my studio. This room is right across the hall from my princess office. You know, my princess office. The room where I unbox things and put our video sponsors on my little board over here. Like today's sponsor, Kawaii Amino. Amino. Amino is an app, but more than an app, it's a community. Well, not a community. It's more like millions of communities <laughs> that are themed around your interests. There are Aminos for everything that you can think of. I'm new to Amino and I've already joined all of these Amino communities. There are communities for everyone. So inside your Amino here, let's check out the Kawaii Amino. There's tons of stuff to do. There's polls, quizzes, info pics, aesthetic, arty, cuteness. There are chats which are so cool because you can make friends all over the world who share your common interests like Kawaii cute things. <laughs> my biggest interest. But my favorite part of the Kawaii Amino is these three tabs here. Kawaii Fashion, which are like cute AF -O -O -T -Ds. I also love this one because you can ask for styling advice and the com has your back. Like you could put a poll in there like, does this work? Should I get this? Help me? <laughs> Kawaii Cosplay is exactly what it sounds like. And Kawaii Crafts. Hi, I'm Alexa. This tab sums me up and I have a little something special for the notification squad. You know who you are. For the first 45 minutes after this video goes live, I will be hanging out live in my chat on Kawaii Amino. Hanging out, chatting, Q&A-ing. <laughs> Just kicking it with all the babes who are always commenting on my videos. I'm so early. I see you. I love you. Come meet me in the Kawaii Amino right now. If you missed the chat today though, you can still add me as a friend and leave me posts for later. I'm gonna leave the download link in the description box for you to check out. When you download through my link, it lets sponsors know that you want to support this channel. So thank you for downloading this free community app and I hope you enjoy Kawaii Amino. I'll see you guys there. All right, let's head back across the hall. We got a studio to rainbow. Let's roll. This room is right across the hall from my princess office. And up until now, this room has pretty much been just like strictly functional. There's nothing cute about this room right now. This room is where I shoot all of my studio photos. It is where I shoot my makeup videos that have like cool, different, interesting backdrops. I have the space in here to like set up and build things. So I use this room a lot. You see this room a lot, but you don't really, really see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I made my last like home improvement video, the one where I transformed Bee's gym in the garage. What the hell? I've been just so wanting to make another one. And this room I think needs the most work <laughs> out of anywhere else in our house. So I think we're gonna take this room from like ultra functional to cute and ultra functional. <laughs> the goal is to keep the flow of this room like easy to work in. Like right now, if I'm in here and I need to take some photos, I'll just pull this backdrop down. If I'm doing makeup, I'll just yank this table out, put it in the middle of the room. I still wanna be able to like grab what I need, but I just want it to be really cute too. So my plan for this room is pastel rainbow. It's gonna look so cute with my office. Well, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I use all the time. There's a lot of things kind of collecting in here that I don't use very often that I probably don't need anymore. So I will give you a quick little tour of the room. We have our backdrop up there. We have more down there. Light stands, a ring light, camera, tripod, flashes. All that kind of good stuff. All of this here is PR that I'm saving because I've been wanting to open this in a video with you guys. <laughs> I'll do that soon, probably, maybe. <laughs> and this is a monitor that I use when I'm filming. And then I also have stuff that I don't really use that much and don't really need anymore. I don't really use any of this. <laughs> we could probably clear all of this out and use this space to put something better in here. Let's get rid of it. Of course, we have the silver play button from when we hit 100,000 subs. I love you guys. Let's get that gold play button. Let's get it. An empty box. Good. Good thing we held on to that. Another empty box. 
excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> Over here is where I keep my clothes and things that I'm gonna be using in upcoming videos. I'm working on a Pokemon lookbook, Studio Ghibli lookbook, and these big guys here. I wanna do like a Craigslist wedding dress try on video. <laughs> this whole area really just needs to be reorganized. I need to take these wedding dresses out of here. <laughs> they take up so much room. I'm gonna go find a closet somewhere that I can stick them in until I'm ready to use them. <laughs> Come on. Behind the wedding dresses, this is from a video that I made but never posted. It was a clown makeup tutorial. I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> the things you find when you clean your room. <laughs> I want to find some better storage for these boxes down here and like what's in this little crate here. If we can find a cuter way to store all of that, that would be perfect. This one usually is full of ideas for upcoming videos, but I erased them all before I started filming as to not spoil the next year of content for you guys. <laughs> oh good, we have someone here to help us. Now that this room is all cleared out and is looking super weird, <laughs> I think our next step is to go shopping. We're gonna go pick out some paint. This picture here, I'll pop it up here so you can see, is my, woo, is my room inspo. I think that's the cutest room ever. And I'm gonna use that picture as kind of the layout order of the colors. Like I like how this lavender is next to the mint and the mint next to that pink down there. I think I'm gonna do lavender on this wall, mint, pink, yellow behind me and like a baby blue on that wall. And uh, yeah, uh, I can't wait to start painting this, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's go. I just got home with all of my paints, got some paint clothes on, and yes, this is merch that doesn't exist. Would you guys want these? So I got my paints and I'm about to pop them all open. Picking paint colors is like the most stressful part of <laughs> redoing a room in my opinion, because there's just so many options and like, how do you know you're getting the right one? I feel pretty good about all of these, except I'm not sure about the lavender. I'm afraid it might be too light, but let's pop them open and see how they look. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so I finished the first coat on the first wall here, and I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that I don't really like it. <laughs> it's too blue, it's too light. I was between these two when I was picking out my paint, and I was leaning to this one, and the paint person talks me into this one. But the good news is that it's just paint, and you can paint over paint. And even though it sucks that I have already spent the money on that paint, and I've already spent the time and energy painting. It's just a fraction in the grand scheme of this room makeover. So I would rather go ahead and fix the problem now and do it the way that I want it, rather than get to the very end, the finish line, and not be completely happy with it. So I think I am gonna go ahead and head back to the store, pick up the paint that I wanted, and we'll start again tomorrow. It's a new day, and I am so excited to start fresh today. I'm ready to jump back in. First up, the pink wall has a few little holes in it that I wanna fill in before I paint it. So I'm gonna fill those in, paint the purple wall, and then jump back over to the pink wall. Let's get to work. I really want to know what was going on in this wall before I moved here. Let me show you, let me show you. All of these smudges on the wall were holes that I fixed. What could they have possibly had on this wall that requires so many holes? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. So much better. <laughs> so you can see the difference over here. It's just the right, like, lavender, purpley, pastel. <laughs> it's so much better, it's so much better. I'm so glad I redid it, yes. 
Oh my god, look how cute it looks behind me. Ah, so good. <laughs> okay, pink wall. And uh, guess whose camera wasn't recording when they painted the pink wall? This guy. <laughs> but here's the pink wall. <laughs> so cute, let me show you. Oh my god, okay, so does he? <laughs> Pipes, what do you think? What do you think, Pipes? Don't step in that paint. Don't you do it. Purple wall. Pink wall. So that is it for today. <laughs> I think tomorrow we'll do the mint wall here and then one of those two. I don't know which one. This one will be blue. That one up there will be yellow. One of those two, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I just really love how it's coming along so far. All right, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you, bye. Good morning. I am sleepy today, but I'm sure once I pour that mint paint, I'm gonna be so excited. <laughs>some One Tree Hill fans out there. This is my One Tree Hill chair back from the set of season nine. If you're wondering what that is up there, that's what it is. <laughs> I can't believe I'm like just now doing this. <laughs> paint time, paint time, paint time, paint time, paint time. This room is like straight up candy. <laughs> I'm so excited, it looks so good. <laughs> So while these walls that we just painted are drying, let me tell you a little bit about my uh, my furniture plan for in here. So the plan, I wanna make a big backdrop on the lavender wall for the kind of videos where I'm just sitting down and talking to you. Something cute that I can make those videos in front of. I bought these book cases and I'm gonna put them all along that wall and then fill the cases up with wigs. It's kind of hard to imagine, but in my head I think it's gonna be cool. We'll see once we get there. <laughs> For the mint wall, I got some pastel rainbow curtains that we're gonna put up. I got a dresser secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. It is like literally the perfect dresser for in here. I think it's gonna be so much better. <laughs> and instead of that folding table, I found a desk on Facebook Marketplace that I had my eye on on Amazon for half the price. So I snagged that right on up. So we're gonna have a white desk in here, a white dresser, white bookshelves. It's gonna be so cute. Oh, and this thing. This is the guy that I had a lot of my backdrops and stuff standing in. You might remember it from our Harley Quinn mallet tutorial. <laughs> this is just leftover cosplay props, but I've been using it to hold some of my backdrops. Recycling, recycling. And for this, I grabbed some pink spray paint and I'm just gonna spray paint it pink and glitter and still use it in here to hold like my backdrops and stuff, but that way it matches the room and we don't have to get anything new. Keeping what we got, recycling. <laughs> Let's start putting some of that furniture together. Hey guys, it is the next day and today I think we'll start it off by taking the tape off of these walls that we did yesterday. That one and that one. And I think it's gonna be our last day of paint. We just have to paint this wall behind me and that should wrap up our paint and then we can start decorating. So I'm really looking forward to today. I am really excited. It looks so good. Take down tape, put up tape. My room, all of the colors on the walls. It's like a little rainbow. I think the paint colors all turned out like absolutely perfect. I love them all. I'm so glad that I redid the purple wall. It's so much better. I'll put the names of all the paint shades that I used in the description box in case you want a little rainbow room like this one. <laughs> I'm so excited. So while that's drying, I will Get back to work on those bookcases. Uh, today I'll do the two taller ones. It's so heavy. <laughs> it says not to use the drill, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. BRB. The uh, directions here say this next part is a two person job and that I could like really mess it up if I tried to do it by myself, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Two people, come on. They don't need two people. 
because I ordered something. <laughs> Quite possibly the creepiest order I have ever placed. <laughs> Here we go. You know, just a normal box full of heads. This is literally the creepiest <laughs> box I have ever opened. Sure, there's a lot more creepy things I could do with all these heads. I could string them together, make some curtains. I could stick them on light stands looking out the windows. I could put them next to B while he's asleep. I could put one on top of our Christmas tree. That's a pretty solid idea. She's a little creepy. Just hanging out with all my friends here. Yeah, that's a, that's totally normal. So this is it painted, but it still has this like cardboardy texture that I don't like. I think I'm gonna try to cover it up with glitter to see if that disguises it a little bit. Well, that glitter wasn't really what I was hoping it would be. Uh, I wanted kind of like a chunkier glitter that would hide the texture a little bit better. So I'm heading to the craft store to see if I can find any chunkier glitter. Might also pick up some lavender spray paint for my monitor table and maybe something to like bedazzle the top rim of the backdrop stand cardboard thing. Let's go! So I was looking for glitter, but I found this like glittery tool that we could just wrap around. I think it's gonna be easier, I think it's gonna be faster, and I think it'll look cute. Glittery ribbon for the rim. Okay, mm it doesn't really look like they have any lavender, but this mint over here, this mint will do just fine. So none of those things are exactly what I was looking for, but I think that they will work great. I can't wait to go put it on. So I kind of just wrapped it around just to see what it would look like. It is disguising the texture of the cardboard and it's very like sparkly and princessy. So I think this is gonna be really good. To glue it on, first I think I'm gonna try this spray adhesive that I just had in my like glue drawer. So let's try the spray, see if it works. To go somewhere new. This little glitter ribbon I am going to use as the border. I'm gonna line the top outside and the top inside. And if there's enough, I might line the bottom too because it's just so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it over there. The difference of it now versus when it started this morning. It's like night and day. It's so cute now. Give you a little dunkaroo. Okay, so I think that's it for today. It was a super, super productive day. I'm really happy with how things are coming along. I am loving it so far. We still have a lot to do. But what do you think? Oh, you're right. I have been so busy. I haven't snuggled you today. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go cuddle. Let's go. Okay, bye. Good night. Hey dude, to start today's work, I think I'm gonna start by hanging up the curtains. And here, obviously, I have the two windows. So for those, I got this white curtain rod from Target, and it has two white balls on the end. I got these three panels of curtains, one set for each window. These curtains, I think, are like seven or eight dollars each, and it comes one panel per pack. So I ordered six of these so I can have three on each window. I'm going to install this curtain rod over the windows and then hang up our little rainbow curtains. Here is my little dresser thing. I got this on Facebook Marketplace and I think it's gonna be the perfect way to store both everything that is in this little guy and my lights and my stands and stuff like that. So I think I'll be putting my lights and my stands up here in this top part and then down here in the drawers I'll use this space down here to store this stuff. These drawers should hold a lot more than this so I got these shelf dividers so that we can still keep these organized out but we can double up in the drawer. We have specialty lighting and all of my gels over here. Camera accessories, batteries, and power. 
backdrop. We are back to the shelves. I ordered three packs of these. They are twinkly curtain lights. And I want to hang them along the back panel of each one of these shelves to make the shelves kind of glow. But I can't wait to see if it works. After I figure out how to hang these up, I'll let you know. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so much prettier than I even imagined. It's so How good the lights look in the back of the shelf. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, hi. And this is my photo shoot setup. These stands fit perfectly on either side of these shelves, so I really didn't lose much space by adding the shelves in, but I gained the cutest background ever. This wall over here is the only one that I wish I could do a little bit more to. Like, I would love to mount this mirror up on the wall, maybe like string some cute lights, some wall art, but I do want to leave one wall empty in case I want to stick any backdrops up to it. Like just wheel this wardrobe rack out of here and have the space to just like tack a sheet up onto the wall if I want to. Must fight the urge to decorate to keep the room functional, I guess, I guess. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this transformation and that you love the room. I love it so much. I can't even believe this is my studio. <laughs> I like never, never hung out in here before. Like strictly work. I would just come in, shoot, leave. But now <laughs> I keep finding myself like sitting in the middle of the room in my little spinny chair and just spinning around and looking <laughs> at everything in this room because it's so cute. 
If you liked this style of video, I have another room transformation video. Much less cute, but it's not for me. <laughs> that is our garage gym makeover, which I'll link up here. And yes, yes, before you leave your comments, I have seen Pixie Lux Rainbow House, and I love it. It's amazing. She's like the cutest little bean ever. So if you like these kind of videos that are like taking a really boring room and turning it into a rainbow wonderland, I would recommend checking out her videos as well. And that is it for this one. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah!